What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be discovering the story of Dusk Glow Crevice. What is going on here? There's a frost astronaut attacking a fire... I don't even understand. Okay, that troll's gonna get wrecked by the fire. And then, now, oh my god, that troll just fucking decks her. Oh my days. I thought the troll would die because she's a fire mage, but apparently the troll just didn't give a shit. So I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense at all. What are you doing, Skyrim? The fire apprentice wouldn't summon a frost astronaut. And if, if the fire apprentice did summon the frost astronaut, why was the frost astronaut attacking her? You don't just get, like, things from the Daedra Plane of Oblivion walking around Skyrim unless a mage has summoned them. Fire Apprentice thinks she's the master of the arcane, summons a Frost Atronach. Frost Atronach's like, nah, brah, I'm gonna kill you. How- where did this even come from if she didn't summon it? I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. Okay, let's go on our map and show you where the actual location is. Um, we are going here to Dusk glue crevasse that's where we're going so let's go that direction i i always start my videos now with a little bit of walking through the wilderness because after i installed these enb mod and the texture mods the wilderness is now beautiful so you guys can enjoy it with me i might actually do a video would you guys like me to do a video where we just walk through the skyrim wilderness and enjoy it and do a bit of hunting maybe so I think we can do a bit of detective work here now. We have a, what looks like an old campsite, potentially by humans, probably bandits I'd say. But then, this is quite strange because this stuff here is usually made by the Falma. So we have a Falma cave with um, some warriors or bandits who have camped outside it. I don't know if that's, maybe they're both inside here. Oh, beautiful cave. I love the ice caves, you guys have no idea. Get wrecked, bandits. So there are definitely bandits, and I'm assuming Falmer in this cave. And it sounds like the bandits are at war with the Falmer. From what I can gather, anyway. Oh, there's legit a fight going on between the Falmer and bandits. It looks like the Falmer just destroyed them, though. Not much of a fight to see here, guys. Night Prowler and... I don't know who that guy is. Let's take out him first. Whoa, that was sick. Now we can take out the Night Prowler. Boom. I can't believe I'm one-hitting these guys. Hmm. Okay, so I think you can climb across there, but the dungeon comes back around, so we're going to jump down here first. So that looks like where we're meant to go. So there's a Mammoth Tusk. And some dead bodies. Maybe the mammoth came in and just fell down here. Could have happened. And let's go through this very narrow mine shaft here. And here we go. Now we're entering the Falmor part of the camp, I guess. This is a very strange dungeon. Oh, hello, Skeever. I think there's another one. There he is. Oh, whoa, that was awesome. Waiting for the Falmer to pop out. This must be their base then. Oh god, there's one over there. Hello, Mr. Falmer. Goodbye. I'm guessing one's going to come around this corner in a moment. Hmm, I can't see anyone. Oh, I can see him. There he is. He's a warmonger though, so he's usually got full Falmer armor on. Usually heavy Falmer armor. Oh, get wrecked, son. 
I haven't even been detected yet. I'm just going to be the absolute stealth assassin. So yeah, if you look, he should have heavy Falmo armor on. Which does look pretty sick, to be honest. It's a pretty good armor set. Let's take his arrows as well. But I love the Falmo environments. They are pretty awesome. Not as cool as Black Reach, but still pretty cool. And we've got a chorus egg as well. These are the eggs that the Falmo basically breed the chorus and they're kind of like these shell creatures you've definitely already seen them I don't know why I'm telling you what they look like we'll probably see some down here I just don't know when we will so there's a bit of a swamp and there's also a chest in this ruin here with an ebony shield black soul gem and some arrows so there's we can go that way but I think there's also another area to explore down here so there's just a camp with a fire in it wonder what's in here. So we've got tons more eggs here. Oh, is that a... I thought that was an enemy. Oh shit, there he is. This guy's gonna like jump up when you get close. He can't actually see me because I'm basically invisible. Let's kill him. But basically they just hide on the ground and then they jump up and attack you. Which is kind of scary if you don't expect it. So let's go right here and we can go down this next cave that we haven't explored yet. It's very dark in this... Oh shit, hello. In this area. Headshot! Get wrecked. Ah, oh, we have a dead bandit here, so the Falmo are killing the bandits and stealing from them. It looks like the Falmo are a lot stronger than the bandits, to be honest. Lingering poison, I will take that. There's also another chest here. With nothing useful in it, basically. Okay, let's carry on up these steps here. Found my dungeons are usually quite dark. I hope it's not too bad on YouTube. I'm going to, like, turn up the brightness after. Because what usually happens is YouTube makes the video slightly darker, which can be quite annoying sometimes. Oh, look, there's another one. I'll show you. Oh, fucking hell, you see what I mean? I knew that would happen, but it still scared me. Let's take this guy out. They just leap at you. And it creeps me out, because they're just so, like, so creepy. Look at them. Weird. I hate, like, bugs like that. They do look pretty cool, but I don't like them very much. There's actually a trap here, so I'm just going to set that off. Ah. Uh, I hate those things as well. They always scare me. Because they just come out of nowhere. So it looks like we're in the bandit area of the cave now. We've gone through the main Falmer hideout. But the Falmer are still present by the looks of the architecture. But this is the Nordic Temple. And we can hear the bandits and Falmer actually fighting up there. So let's get rid of that warmonger. Oh, I actually missed that. It's really annoying. Take him out. Oh god. Kill the hunter. Shit. Hello. Of course he's going to heal himself, isn't he? Didn't really do much for him, though, did it? Found my ear. We can make a lot of good poisons with this, by the way, so make sure you grab that. And the sword. Right. This is the main chamber, I think. It seems like an ancient old Nordic temple that the Thalma have thought of sort of like overtaken. Maybe the bandits mined into their their lair or something. This is the secret chain to activate that gate there, which we'll go through in a second. So these bandits have just been completely wiped out from the cave now. And obviously we took care of the Thalma. Perloid sh Shadows. I think that's a skill book. This is actually a really good book. So I recommend just reading this book. It's definitely worth a read. It's very interesting. It's got a good plot twist as well. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But I have been mentioning these last few videos that I am going to do a reading series. So you guys can look forward to that if you can't be bothered to read it yourself. Um, Dwarven Sword of Flames. Grand Staff of Charming. No and no. Nothing I need. Really. Did I open a boss chest? There is a boss chest here. Have I? Oh, okay, that's the boss chest. 
I just forgot what it looks like. Okay, so let's go through this door here. And that's where we started off over there. And of course, this is where we saw the Falmer fighting. So we hop over here. We can get back to the start of the dungeon. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. That helps me know to invest more time in making mini let's plays on Skyrim for you if you like this kind of thing. And you can also check out the playlist right now down in the description for more legendary locations in Skyrim. My name is ESO and I will see you, or a subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. Thank you for watching and have a good day.